divas and gents I'm coming to you with my swap goodness from Tamika swap and she had a um, my ultimate Valentine swap that I participated in and I have um, Nika and I believe she's simply shimmery yes simply shimmery scraps she's an amazing crafter and then I got all amazing ones let's just keep that real I have Louisa, who is KSP by Louisa. So I have hers, and then I have my girl Elizabeth, who is BD Bomb Bomb One, here on YouTube. So these are my three goodies. I did receive them, I think, two days ago. So I'm just barely having time to <laughs> get this done, and I want to hurry up because I watched Louisa open hers, and I'm like, okay, that's it. We got to get this done. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Excuse my, it's a good thing you can't see what's going on around here because <laughs> there's a bunch of craziness. So let's go ahead and dive into Elizabeth. I'm very sorry for the crinkle. Let's go ahead and get that to the side. Okay. She did one of these envelope pockets that we were all making a while back. Okay. So it's using these, and they don't sell these anymore at um, Michael's. This is where you would buy the corrugated cards, and these were the envelopes, which would make no sense because nobody could use these envelopes on those cards because they were so thick because it was corrugated. So amazing. Crafters came up with a phenomenal idea with making these little pockets, and that is um, what she did. And she altered it, and it's extra beautiful. Look at this paper. I'm dying. That's gorgeous. So, oops. So here is the front. This right here is um, a punch. Uh, I do have this punch and I absolutely love it. And I love how she layered it. Okay. And then she added some pearls and this beautiful trim. She did a couple layers here. Just gorgeous. I love it. And then she personalized them. So let's dab in. Okay. Super excited. Okay. So, <clears throat> thank you so much, girl. She knows my favorite color is yellow, so thank you very much for these flowers. I love, love, love these. And then, we can never have enough. I have a drawer full, okay? <laughs> I won't lie to you. I got a drawer full of pearls and the blings, but I always need, because you'll get on projects and you're like, okay, I just need all of these size. So then you have a bunch of these ones, or I just need these little tiny ones. And then you use them all, so you don't have any more. So I absolutely love receiving things like this. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. Okay, let's put that aside. And here is the swap goodness. Oh, I can't wait. This is the best part ever is when you start getting the swaps back and you just, and everybody is absolutely amazing because there's so much different styles. And I, that's what I get so excited about is, is just everybody's style and crafting. I absolutely love it. I learn from every crafter and I love it. Look at this. She added, I think these are called Guy Pierre laces. I could totally be wrong or even pronouncing it wrong, but this is absolutely yummy. And I don't have any of these laces that are on here. And um, so that's what's even better. And I have a pretty good stash of trims, but I don't have these. So I am loving it. And look at these right here. How delicate are these and just gorgeous. Totally cute. And then this one right here is, um, there we go, has pearl all through the middle. Just beautiful, all pink. Super gorgeous. And then this really beautiful tool. And oh, I don't want to take them off, but you know what, why not? Let's just do it. But you got to see the tag. That was part of the swap. So let's go ahead and slide these off. Okay. And then let's see if we can, maybe not this one right here. Okay. Oh my gosh, this lace right here, girl, is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Okay. And this is, um, look at that. You go with your bad self. That is gorgeous. She did some embossing and she used like a glitter embossing powder. I love it. And then she stamped it. We were told to leave it flat. And that was, that was my biggest struggle. I'm not going to even lie. I just felt like, I feel like I'm sending something incomplete. <laughs> so here is her dangle. We were all to do a dangle. So this is like a really pretty pink acrylic bead. 
and a super cute little cherub uber cute so now when I have this tag I can just layer on top of it and that was the whole point why Tamika um, did it that way so here is the tag we were supposed to do the charm the laces and then she opted to do the tag. You could do a card with a, a three by three card with an envelope, or you could do a shaped gift tag. And she did the gift tag. So, you know what? Hold on just a second. My heater's about to kick on, and I don't want that on. Just a hot second. All right, there we go. It's just not hot anymore, and I don't want that thing kicking in. So, anywho, look at this super cute tag. That is so like delicate. I love this dye. I gotta have it. Oh my gosh. Elizabeth, let me know where you got this dye. I see so many girls using it, especially on clips and stuff, and I love it. That is beautiful. Super, super pretty girl. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, and that was her tag. And now for two three by three embellishments. Here, let me put this over here. I can do my best not to have the crinkling right in the camera where the speaker part is. And then here's her uber cute little, and these are altered buttons. This was a thing uh, back in the day as well, and I love it. I love how, you know, different crafters will bring back stuff and make it amazing all over again. And look at that. Look at all of that little itty bitty, just yumminess. And I know that these right here, these little white flowers that are right there, I believe she said that was nail art. You know, like when girls get their nails done. So. I believe that's what those are. And then just beautiful little, just doodads. I mean, I love it. The juicier, the better for me. And then this super cute, I don't even have any more of these uh, left, but she altered one of these hangers that were from Michael's. Look at that. Just ton of little stuff. So pretty. I love it, girl. Thank you so much. Love it all. And she's a shabby chic diva so of course this valentine's was going to be her her shabby chic style okay so let me push this right here over here and this uh, she added a goodie and i and i already know what it is and the reason why is because i watched louisa <laughs> i just don't know how mine looks so <laughs> yay oh my gosh girl thank you so much she made me an altar compact <laughs> with all my favorite colors. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And I'm so excited. I forget that I have a lot of cameos because I haven't put in a box in my craft room. I need to dig them out. And she added beautiful cabochons and blings. And these compacts are made to put whatever you can. It doesn't have to be blingish. I When I did all of mine, I did use all blings. Um, only because I have so many of them and if I don't use them, they start tarnishing. So I had to use them, but you know, and see, and that's perfect that she bought the compacts with the bling at the bottom. So you don't have to worry. So I will have, I did get three of these because I, I really liked the pearl ones and I'm going to do these ones and I'll do a video of how those come out. So look at how gorgeous. I love it. Girl, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much love it and this is and i'm not going to open it my way because i am not trying to scare everybody <laughs> but you see that it has mirrors on both sides and then it snaps easy and then it flips open easy super and she used d6000 so these bad boys are locked for life love it girl thank you so much that is just gorge let me just leave that right there now let's go ahead and dive into Miss Louisa's. Hey girl. So it was really exciting to be put in a swap with her. Um, I follow her channel and all her videos and right now she is doing a, um, what do you call, use it or lose it series. And she did a Valentine series. Let me tell you, that was a lot of fun to watch. So I hope that you don't stop doing them because they're super inspiring um, to watch you know, different crafters do their projects, see how they think and how they put stuff together. So 
I'm looking forward to it. She's done one of the new series. So you know what? I'm going to tag both um, all of the girls in this swap. I'm going to put all of their links below because you really need to be subscribed to all of them. They're all amazing crafters. And then look at here. Like I said, see, never get enough. And I like purple as well. So I'm good. Thank you very much, Louisa. Here is her packaging. She did um, a cupcake liner rosette. And then she did all of this shabby stuff. I believe this is with the streamers, right? And it's all the way around. Super cute. All right, let's dig it out. Okay, let's see. I don't wanna, okay. And then she just put some stuffing in there to have everything not sink to the bottom. All right, here is one of her clips super cute this can go in my planner because it's not um top heavy and it looks like i don't know if these were the ones oh okay you know what these are probably the pink felt ones that um, like the table scatter and then she added maybe white paint to distress the edges of it so i absolutely love that look and this pretty little cabochon on top of the bow love it thank you thank you all right and Okay, let's see. Okay, I think I know see how she did it. Okay, so this is the little clip that she put on top to hold it together. Super cute. That's a die. I love it because the clip goes through there. Okay, I have the crown punch. So that's really cute. I like how you put that together. Look at those little lips. That's adorable. Okay, and then these I'm going to assume are your two little um, two inch in bellies okay so she did this cute little coffee cup right here and yeah I see what the theme she's doing and she's using the um, the paint or whatever to do the edges to give it the distressed look because she did it on this one as well I really like that Super cute. Thank you. Thank you. And then this will be the card and the envelope. Okay. See, I'm glad that she did that because a lot of girls look like they opted to do the tags. And I actually love using my envelope punch board. So <laughs> I was excited to do that. Okay. And then here is the card. And then she layered this really beautiful um, little heart applique with some ephemera. And then right here is a, a chipboard piece. And she did it a heart style. There we go. And she distressed all the edges. Okay. And then this is the envelope. Very cute. Everything is very, it's very shabby vintagey. How's that? <laughs> so, and I love it. This is a unique, um, way of doing it and then I wonder if you used your punch board to that I actually like that it has it very pointy in the front like that and then she put another piece of ephemera so this is her card and then she added these cute little um it's like a let me take this right here because this part poked through and I think maybe through the shipping it did that so let's close that down okay there we go so she used a skewer and she put it inside of the um, pink little foam heart and then added a bow. And that was in there to look pretty. And then she also added this, this looks like one of those stir, drink stirs of a star. Super cute. And then here will be the trims, the tag, and the charm dangle. As soon as I figure out how to open it, here we go. Let me open this to the side. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, let's do this first. Here's the trims. I'm not going to take them off. Well, you know I'm going to have to because that's her tag. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to take them off. Okay. And I absolutely love eyelid trim. Love it. And I don't have this one. So this is absolutely gorgeous. And then right here we have... How funny, I don't have any of these trims. This right here is super, super cute. Look at that, pink with polka dots and then a pretty lace underneath it. 
love it okay and then here is the third one and i love that you use these girl because you know i'm going to make some stick pins it's been a minute since i've done those so let's see and i love thin trims like this i have a spool of i don't know it doesn't it's it's kind of like this one but a different style but i love this stuff for layering or for small projects so thank you very much so that's lace number three and then here's her tag and she distressed it she put this stamp right here in the front a little heart enamel and then the back this is gorgeous i love it so i'm thinking that you may have double layered that because it's pretty sturdy gorgeous and then here's her dangle super cute i love dangles i love anything that's jewelry <laughs> That's just my thing. Super pretty. So thank you so much, girlfriend. I'm going to put all this yumminess to the side and I'll package it later because I just want to dive in. I don't, I don't want to put all of this stuff back right now. I just want to dive in. Then when I get off the camera, I want to look and touch again. That's just how I roll. <laughs> and then she here's her little goodie bag of goodness. So let me just take it out and flip through it real quick. So I have this little acetate, and then these are all chipboard pieces, which is very cool because I don't have these. So thank you so much for these, and I'm gonna put these in my Valentine bin. And then this cute little tassel, and then some puffy hearts, and then this is a pin for the back right there. And then here is the little puffy hearts to layer stuff on. So thank you so much, girl, for the extra goodness. All right. And, and yeah, I'm not going to do that right now either. All right. I'm sorry. My arm all in the camera. All right. Now let's get to Nika. Now this girl was doing above and beyond because I cannot tell you, these come in those priority envelopes that have the bubble wrap. Your stuff tends to get, you see what happens when, you know, it comes like this because it's getting smashed through the mail. So, you know, I thought of that too, because I was like, gosh, you know, I mean, there's nothing to help it. Look at this box. It did not get damaged at all, at all. And it's hard. So thank you, Nika, for keeping that in mind when making this, because whatever you used, it's rock solid. And I love that, because I, when I watched your video, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't get smashed in the mail, because that would really suck. So she personalized, personalized each one of our boxes. And tell me that's just not gorgeous. Okay, so she just made it look really super pretty. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, let's see, there we go. All right. Oh, stinky cute. I can't believe you did all that. Girl, I, I mean, I would not do this because I would be worried that in the mail, all your hard work would have got smashed. So it is great that one, you took the time to do it and that it did not get destroyed in the mail. Okay, look at this. Seriously, let me show you. Okay, let me, let me tell you. She was just being over the top. She did trays. So you get one layer here. Let's take this layer out. Then she did another layer on the bottom. And they slide in and out like butter. Okay, seriously, girl, killing me. And this right here is like, it's like chipboard. Like she, you killed it. That's all I gotta say. So here is, okay. So let's do with the top tray first. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And we were supposed to do two. Now I don't know if I, if it's just a math thing, but I kind of see more than two going on in here. <laughs> So look at these little tiny itty bitties. Let me get this to the camera because there's so much little stuff. You need to see it up close. Yeah, it's a shaker and it's kind of fabulous. Look at that. The tiniest of tiny. And then she uses Swarovski. All these little gems that you're going to see throughout all the projects are all Swarovski little gems. Super beautiful. Just gorgeous girl. Oh my goodness. And then she did this wood piece. Look at that. Do you see all the little details? And then she 
sugared up the um, the wings and these I believe are the Michaels um, the wooden pieces they have because I swear I've seen these and she painted them gorgeous I keep looking and then I don't get them looking and then I don't get them so this will be encouraging to go and get them <laughs> look at all that and another shaker okay and now let me tell you what she did this heart had holes in it and she stitched all the way through around the heart that is all stitching with like an embroidery thread seriously who does that? I would not do that so therefore it goes off to you girl for that extra effort because that extra touch just made it at just even more fabulous seriously love it just gorgeous okay and then look at this <laughs> dying okay look at it's just a little heart chipboard piece but look at how she made it I will never look at another little heart chipboard piece <laughs> again so plain look at this could she add any more just beautiful love it okay and then that back in and then she did this oh my gosh i was so excited when she showed this in her video this right here is like a resin um dress form and look at that she took the time to put little tiny blings around the neck and what i like is that i don't see any glue or anything seeping from anywhere <clears throat> on um her project and when you're doing tiny things like this man it is tough tough to not you know uh have stuff seeping through the side so thank you girl look at how beautiful that is this looks like the piece of a rosette flower just gorgeous gorgeous I'm not gonna want to put these on anything and then this is a dangle this is the dangle that she did okay look at that that's beautiful and then look at all the pieces and all the blings oh my gosh I'm loving it and she did wire wrap each of the beads to go on there and then it's made with love and then look at this beautiful right here I absolutely love this and it's not um, I don't know if it's acrylic it feels heavy so it could be or it couldn't be I don't know but I don't care either way it's gorgeous look at that so beautiful girl you knocked it right out the park okay so that is tray number one and then the bottom tray would be what houses the tag, the trim, and then the little note card. So here is the um, trims. I'm not going to take them out. And then look at how pretty, though. It's like a vintage dusty pink. And then this really pretty heart one. I don't have either of those. And this right here. I do have some of this right here, but who's going to lie? You can never have enough. And it's already pre-cut, so it's gorgeous. So thank you so much for the beautiful trims, Nika. And then she um, went ahead and opted to do the shaped tag. Now look at that. Do you see all those Swarovskis? Girl, just gorgeous. Love it. Look at all that little stuff. I absolutely love it. And look at, how do you do perfect bows like that? I'm so jealous of all you girls that can do that. I cannot, for the life of me, make a perfect bow like that kills me and then here's the back just beautiful love it I absolutely love all you girls and all your amazingness look at this this right here is rock solid like feels like it's even wood I mean it's like she made it real sturdy and then she definitely did stenciling on here with um, a texture paste so you can feel it I love it and she did some stamping and then she used you know probably a love dye on there gorgeous girl and look at that and she even added another one on her little bow and then she did put an eyelet up here super gorgeous and then just for added fluff for you know for the bottom of this just so that everything coordinates and looks beautiful she put this beautiful wide um, lace at the bottom just to give it a little something extra so thank you so much, ladies. I enjoyed this swap, and I am a serious admirer of every one of your guys' talent. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.